huge games around the area. Brian and Lorian, what a perfect night for the playoffs to kick off in the Susquehanna Valley. I am here at Cocalico High School. It's the 5A dis division bracket here as Hershey and Cocalico will go head to head in a 7 o'clock kickoff. Now let's toss to the video here. This is how both teams have made it so far this season. Both come in with 7 and 3 records. Now Hershey has a 6 and 3 record in the mid pen conference, but these two offenses look eerily similar to one another. Both teams have rushed for nearly 3,000 yards this season. And as for the Eagles, we'll get this fun fact. They have not completed a pass since week four. So the rush game and the run game will be huge here as to whether which defense can stop the run game. I just talked to Cocalico head coach Brian Stroll that said they do run the ball, both of these teams, but they run them very differently. So fans are going to be in for a treat tonight. And what better way to have a run heavy team when the wind is blowing this hard? Well, guys, the class 5A is going to be a big one, but Jacob Hall is over at Cumberland Valley High School and has more from that big game. Hey, Jacob. Hey there, Bethany. I think fans are in for a treat at Cumberland Valley tonight as well as we have a mid pin or mid pin conference and Lancaster Lebanon League showdown between Cumberland Valley, who is the eight seed and then Governor Mifflin, who is the nine seed in the District 3 6A playoffs. Now some background on these two teams both come into the game with five and five records on the season. This will be the third ever meeting between the two schools in the playoffs in the first since 2014 when the Mustangs won 49 to 17 in that game. But this will be Governor Mifflin's first ever playoff game in the 6A classification. Meanwhile, on the other sideline, Cumberland Valley, they're making their 32nd appearance in the district playoffs, which is the second most in District 3 history behind Mannheim Central. And Cumberland Valley is searching if they can get by Governor Mifflin tonight. They're trying to win their 14th ever district title. And Bethany should be a really exciting and fun matchup tonight. The winner of this game will then face Mannheim Township next week. So we'll see what happens tonight. Should be a really good game, but obviously a tough test in Mannheim Township awaits the winner of this one. But I'm going to send it over to you at Cocalico. Jacob, thank you so much. These highlights plus 10 more on tonight's edition of Football Friday. We'll have more in sports, but first, back to you in studio. All right, looking forward to it, Bethany and Jacob. Thanks for those reports. And taking a closer look at those games tonight, round one, that'll feature games in brackets for all six classifications in the PIAA system. A couple of those first games happened last night here in the Susquehanna Valley. We're looking at a lot of big contenders. Yeah, we are. And from single A through 6A, it will be a big night under the lights, as you heard Bethany and Jacob mention. Lots at stake here. So